Okay, so John, how did how did you go about starting the, the Halloween sessions here in Leisure World? Um, I suppose about three years ago, I would have got an email from Tralee College saying there was a foundation course coming up in Halliwick. So I decided I'd go and do it. So work were very accommodating, they gave me the time off to go and do the course. And I did the foundation course then, and then an advanced course came up after that. So I went off and did the advanced, and I was very lucky on the, the advanced, I was able to do my Halloween instructors. So came back then, and we started doing um, one-to-ones in the water. And we were doing them for 45 minutes originally, but we found 45 minutes was too long, so we cut it down to 30 minutes. And it was one-to-ones for a long time, and word was kind of going around. And then this year with Ashlyn Social Sports Development Officer, we were very lucky. She linked us in with organisations such as the Rebel Wheelers, and she was able to bring groups in, and they came in for eight weeks at a time. And we were doing sessions with them, and we're based around the Red Badge for the Halliwick. So we do six weeks, we do a little assessment on the Red Badge, and we'd give a progress report and a certificate to the children and their parents. And we also had the National Council for the Blind as well coming in swimming with us. Okay. So where is the club at present? Where do you recruit your people from? Is it to the Cork Sports Partnership or where do you get your instructors um, I suppose thanks to Ashley and Cork Local Sports Partnership we are getting people in that way as well. And then due to that word of mouth has been passed around by the parents. But yeah, a, lot, a large contribution would be due to Cork Local Sports Partnership all right, and their help. What we've been doing is getting the parents to come in with the kids and we've been training the parents as helpers in the water. So for the future now we're going to be sending two more people from Leisure World to go and participate for, in a foundation course so they'll be trained up as foundation instructors. Long term future, what I'd like to hope and see will be more groups coming in that I develop my skills further as an instructor, I get my group leaders, that the guys that are going to be trained up in the future that they would in, as well, we gain more qualifications, that we'd organise our own training days amongst ourselves, that we'd help each other, um, also that we develop the groups further, that we might branch out to you know, people with Down syndrome, um, maybe people with more severe physical disabilities, and um, we might hopefully try and link in above with CIT, you know, get their students to come down and help us as well.